It is time to start our adventure. This is Tales of Soarfall. Hi, I'm Paul, this is Tales of Swordfall, and who is with me tonight? Yeah, got Ammon playing Ash, the uh, fighter slash wizard. And I'm Amanda, I play Tabby Tipsy Tail, the tabaxi rogue warlock. And this is Phoenix playing uh, my fighter tiefling, uh, Nilkus Avalak. I'm Chris, I play Flea the Lizard Folk Fighter. And this is Guy playing Nork Valtzfer, the halfling monk. I'm Lucy. I play Taz Mockwell, the tiefling bard. And I am Vera Random Butterfly playing the rogue slash sorceress Rayanne. I'm Luke Skytrekker playing Alonzo Whitmire, the rogue trickster cleric. I'm Alex. I play Krakatur, the Air Genasi barbarian. So, where we last left off, Tabby was shot, and she went unconscious, for lack of a better word. Ryan was next to her, and also got shot. Taz was behind them and watched them get shot. Uh, Krakatur, Flea, and Ash were in a, like, back alley, uh... Yeah, we're either in a back alley or a... place where alleys actually open up to that I can't remember the name of. Ah. And um, who else was where? Oh shoot, anybody remember? Uh, where's Rayanne's mom? <laughs> oh, Although... she disappeared. Of course, deadbeat. Yep. <laughs> oh shit things are going down um, yeah we're in front of the fisted fairy alex yeah oh, yeah norik uh, came out to see what, what all was going on and uh, then he tried to chase after the person that was shooting after he was pointed out oh yeah and you tried uh, to climb up to climb yeah. climb a, like a drain pipe up to the high up roof and he just flopped right off the button basically didn't get anywhere. Yep. And Taz shot something, somebody. Oh, yeah. And Taz ended up shooting someone with the crossbow that Rianne gave her. And then there was screams of horror on that rooftop. I remember that part. And the city guard are coming to investigate all the shooting because uh, shooting in the streets, that's not good. So. We're going to find out what Luke's character has been doing during this time, because he's existed, maybe not with the group all the time, but he's been around. Alonzo, you a handsome devil, you. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> you left the fight pretty quickly when it started going down at the um, Lilac Road. I skedaddled, man. I was yep. out of there. So have you just been like tailing the group or I have been tailing the group. That is exactly what I've been doing. I don't I don't want no fights, but I want to keep my eye on things. All right. And uh what is your reaction to this whole um someone shooting at uh you know, Ran and the group. Well, the group around her. Has the shooting stopped yet? Is it still an active situation? Um it's hard to tell at the moment. But it looks like okay. it may have stopped for a few moments. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And it like. Oh, go ahead. And it also looks like the strange tiefling that uh, is well, the other strange tiefling, a tiefling, a female tiefling. Let's put it that. Um, has actually started shooting up to the roof with a crossbow. Okay. Well, this is very interesting. Um, so I would like to, I would like to stealth, 
Well, actually, no. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stealth. Um, so I roll stealth. Yes. Yep. Roll that stealth and stealth. And what are you? Yep. Uh, what are you doing? What are you sneaking around? I would, I would like to try to sneak towards uh, the person who was just shot, and all of that that's going down. Uh, I imagine somewhere in like I imagine it's somewhere in like in the middle of the street. Uh, no, it's on a like top of a uh, stoop, like a balcony. Oh, like a stoop. Okay, so like yeah. a porch. Yeah. Okay, so I, I want to sneak onto the porch. I'm trying not to be seen by the shooter. That's what I'm trying to do here. I want to okay. get there without being shot at. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, say you have disadvantage on that. Okay, I will roll again. <laughs> yep. Aw. Oh. In such a good role. Yeah, uh, I know. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you're you're going up there, and I'll just have to roll something and see what's going down. I need to check something with spells. So, yeah, uh, you get there with some some ease uh there are still people running in the streets a little panicked because you know it's a scary situation and uh you arrive there is ran there is the lady tiefling and there is the uh tabaxi lady tabaxi on the ground uh it looks like she's been shot there's a scrape against her arm there's some blood um and it looks like she's not like super duper damaged but it looks like she's taken a good wound but what there's should I roll to figure out why she's unconscious like what can I do about it uh medicine check all right that's what I thought I just want to make sure it wasn't arcana 10 uh not a you're... very good medicine check I, you're not quite sure if you've seen this or not. I mean, she could have just, like, fainted due to shock or whatever, but there's something going on, and you're pretty sure it's just not the bullet. All right. I'm going to try to uh, shake her awake, like, kind of covertly. Um, I'm going to say there's no way to do that convert covertly, okay. because she is around, like... Clearly, Rayanne's next to her, and Taz. Does Rayanne notice this? I want to just kind of chime in. Um, you probably notice him approaching. Uh, uh, Hello what's... again. Yeah. Rayan just goes, "You." Mm. I'm just gonna kind of shrug, like raise my hands in the air, like what? And then I'm gonna try to uh, shake the tabaxi awake. All right, um, Tabby, give me a uh, constitution saving throw. Uh, womp womp. I mean, seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. uh, almost. <laughs> Did Rayanne do a medicine check and see, you know, maybe she's seen this or not? Uh, you've seen this before. I mean, after Ash, like, went down after a gunshot, you kind of you're kind Kicker. of putting two and two. Oh. Yeah. Is yep. it the guy who um, shot Tierker? If I'm guessing? What? The poison bullets. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I thought you meant, like, literally the player guy. Uh, me, yeah, no, not me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was, was like, guy shooting that? people? What? I missed was something here. Was it the guy who shot Tierker earlier? Yes, it was the guy. Rain just goes, oh, no, it's that guy again. Which? There are a lot of guys. Nori's gonna come walking over. Wait, is it, do you mean that? Oh, that one. Yes. Oh, that explains a lot. Oh. What the hell are you talking about? Say there is a guy with a gun who has poison bullets, and yeah, um, he shot one of our friends. Do you got a name for this guy? Uh, what was his name again? Rain's kind of scratching her head, trying to think. Uh, Would that be a no, history? No, no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a pretty recent history. Give me advantage on that. 
Okay. Oh yeah, you remember Murdoch. You remember his smug ass face oh. and his stupid little goblin and his somewhat nice half orc friend. Murdoch, that's his name. That guy. Ugh. So he shot one of our friends, tricked us, and um pretty much gave us water as the antidote. What oh, I'm gonna Norse okay. gonna take off and run into the bar. And just order like a giant pint of water. <laughs> uh, you get the giant pint of water. And just says so, he says to the the barkeep, "I'll be I'll be right back with the pint. We just need this. Thanks." And okay, darling. Pint of water. Uh, you just drench her in water. So I'm I'm gonna try um I'm gonna try uh just slowly pouring some water into Tabby's mouth. I think water helps. Okay, uh Tabby, uh roll with advantage for a constitution saving throw. Fourteen, that's good. Uh yeah, Tabby, uh someone's pouring water trying to pour water into your mouth. It's not really working, but um, it wakes you up. I'd like to, to make a turd move and try to tip the jar and make it look like Norik is just trying to douse her in it. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> what are play? you doing? Trying to waterboard me? Jesus. Uh, no, it's just... It's, I don't know what he was doing. Oh, I'd like to who are you? <laughs> Rage squinting at my eyes. You know what? We should save this all for the inside. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help offer to help Tabby up at least. Uh, thanks. Did you just try to waterboard me? Just, just no. Go. That was just the halfling. Oh, okay. New person. Hey, who are you? What's your name? I wouldn't trust him. Can we all just move inside? I mean, I, I, I shoot us up here. Inside. Uh, okay. so, <laughs> you you go inside, okay? Uh, no, inside... I'm gonna give give the biggest stink eye to uh, what's his name? Alonzo. Alonzo. Alonzo just smiles at you. Yeah, yeah, the, the, like super stink eye. <laughs> just smiles at you uh, while walking aside. I'm Alonzo Whitmire, at your service. I uh, uh, service. We'll, we'll leave that up to. Uh, <clears throat> So oh, um, uh, apparently someone was shooting at you. Yes. Mm, you noticed? It, it yeah. seemed to be a thing. Oh, gosh. Look at my fur. How am I going to fix this? They uh, probably tab. have towels here somewhere. I want to go up to the bar and see if I can borrow that bartender's towel that they always have to polish the bar with. Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, fabulous one. It's embroidered. It looks really nice. Uh, so this whole bar is just sparkling rainbow there's flashing lights like there's some magician in the corner like making sure the light lighting is just awesome and um yeah i'm just gonna straight up like steal the towel and give it to tabby <laughs> i don't i don't care yeah I mean, no, no, one, no, one's, no one's paying attention it's just a towel this yeah is all just so fabulous <laughs> just gonna hand it to her very fabulous be just like yeah alonzo's showing off <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you. And I, I, yes, it says Fisted Fairy on it in gold lettering. Perfect. Yep. Marianne's going to just kind of stare off. She's like, I wonder where that deadbeat went. Do you know who was shooting at you? I know who was shooting at me. That's a nice little advantage to have. Most people don't. Wait, who was shooting at us? Because did we have multiple shooters? I, th I thought we had more than just one. Uh, as, as far as I know, it's one. The little twerp called Murdoch. I hate to make an untoward suggestion, but uh, shouldn't we be perhaps pursuing this Murdoch? <laughs> is Flea in here? Is, is Flea in here? Uh, I'm outside in the alley. Yeah, they're. Uh... Flea is with uh, Krakatura right now, and Ash. 
Um, but you're in here, Taz, right? Yeah, I am. Hey, Taz, you think it's because we uh, were wanted? And I say that really low and slow. Maybe. I think it has something to do with the bounties. Can Rain pull mm-hmm. a perception to hear this? I was this just thing? about to say that. <laughs> yeah, uh, both of you can see if you can hear this. Uh, they're doing it pretty well. And it's pretty loud in here. Um, nope, Alonzo doesn't. I figured not. Uh, you can hear some of it, Ran. Probably uh, the only emphasis part is, you know, you can tell they're asking questions. Wanted. Yeah, wanted. <laughs> Ran just kind of pokes in like, huh? Hey, Ray, uh, Ray, it was Ray, wasn't it? Ray, and she's kind of grimacing a little, like, Ray. I thought it was Ray She gives this, like, dead eye look, like, it's only Ray. Anyway. Lonzo just shrugs. Um, what exactly did this crossbow do? It turned someone to stone. Um, oh, what? Temporarily. Can I keep it? it? That's mine. It was, it was handed to me by someone. Where did you get something like that? Where do you think? I have a few ideas. <laughs> is this within uh, Norik's earshot now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's starting like this is starting to get to be a little like a bit more elevated. Mm-hmm. You know who. I'm not I, saying I know who exactly. There are many a deep very I know exactly. tangled individual. I know exactly who you got it from and who you tried to use it on. It came from a very tangled individual. Yeah. Yeah, that, that thing has a history of some very nasty stuff. But it was handed to me, so please just give it back. Suppose you live by the rule, find us keepers, then. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's basically Ryan. Must be nice to be able to sum yourself up in such a simple sentence. Ryan's just giving him the stink eye, like, don't you even. I need, I need a stink eye counter for Alonzo. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if, if something's, if th- something's on someone's like you know, body, and, and they're not alive anymore. I mean, I, I guess uh, it's fine to just take all their stuff. Well, they're not they using were, it. I mean, even if they were like a, a, you know, a nice like... person or something, right? Right? So, it, in the meantime, during this conversation, um, Tabby, Taz, you say see they're a little distracted, just, you know, a tiny bit. And um, are you going to take advantage of the situation? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, what's what's going on? Nothing is going on. <laughs> totally fine. Totally We're fine. fine. Nothing at all. Okay. Cool. Nothing's going on. <laughs> With... Definitely not stealing the crossbow. Not at all. Rhea is going to kind of continually ask, though. She's going to, once she's done kind of chatting with them, she's like, crossbow? And she's kind of wiggling her hands like, come on. Uh, About like the second time you asked during, uh, while having a conversation with uh, Nork and Alonzo, um, (laughs) Taz is gone. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, no, I just wanted to switch out the crossbows. Oh, okay. Yeah, she still has a crossbow. Totally. Mm. So, wait, what just happened? Oh, Rian no, gets back. Fine. Rian gets back the crossbow. <laughs> All right. I've been meaning to do this with Ranroom. Can I roll Arcana just like generally on what's going on right now? Um, 
or not really for like what in general i i don't um, understand exactly what you're I'd trying like to get to at. roll arcana yeah let's just do it on the crossbow why not oh uh, okay i don't know i'm just uh 17 yeah uh with a 17 you know that uh well from the description of what just happened that uh the crossbow can make the bolts uh once fired from this particular crossbow uh makes someone petrified for a limited amount of time so it's it's pretty handy interesting all right so um are we just going to are we going to get some drinks or are we going to pursue this individual of yours Rune's gonna stare at Nora. Well, are you gonna complain about me more or what? Mm. Is Tirker still out of his mind? I think so. Tirker's <sighs> like you don't even see Tirker anymore. He's he is a pain when he's on his mushroom fix. I don't know. Maybe maybe we're the ones who who are missing out. Uh, but. Well, just whatever. Let him. I guess we'll let him do his thing. Um, he's probably having more fun than we are. Let's uh, let's go. Just just track down this bastard, and just, I'm sick of him. Wasn't there a plan to go to a certain dice competition at one at a certain time? Wait, wait, what? Oh, did I hear that? Uh, yeah, I yes. said that out loud. I said that out loud. Hmm. All right. Didn't you say that you had to give up something, though? Yes, I believe. But um, uh, you seem to have no um, uh, shall we say, uh, limitations in that department. Are you planning to attend the Dragon Dice tournament? I am. I am. I happen to be rather handy with dice myself. Can I ask, what's your purpose for going? To win. What is yours? Who said we were going? Well, you inquired as if you were. I have something of a history with the man orchestrating the event. I'm a bit curious. Clarkson, I believe his name is? Yes, that's the one. What's the nature of this history? Complicated. Lo- the best kind. Hmm. Well, perhaps we'll see you there then. I believe we're headed in that direction, though this shooter seems to have ruffled everyone's feathers a bit. And I'm more or less along for the ride. I have a hunch he's probably after it well, going too. But he could be eliminating his competition. I could be wrong. Maybe, but I think we should wait for Flea to get back, and then we can have him maybe track him down if you've seen him. Stay tuned for the next part of this episode. Please consider listening to these podcasts. Welcome to a special episode of Where the Wild Things Roll. My name is John and I will be your host and DM for this 5th edition actual play Dungeons and Dragons podcast set in the world of Ravarna. This podcast might be a tad different from others you've listened to. The two players will be my 12 year old son Kinnick and my 10 year old daughter Kaylee as they learn to play D&D through their very first campaign. We will pick up with our adventurers as they finish their time at Paduk's Adventurers Guild as they take their practical exams in dungeoneering, magical beasts, weapons and armor, puzzle solving, diplomacy, history of the world, and magical cause and effect before they are set out into the world. Can our two adventurers 
pass their classes and become full-fledged members of the Adventurers Guild? You'll have to tune in and find out next time on Where the Wild Things Roll. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.